Roland Brooks. I'm an artist from Tucson, Arizona. I've uh, come to California uh, through a job, through graphic design. Basically, my story is, is growing up, I was really into comic books, emulating my favorite comic book artists and um, really getting into the process of being creative. As my creative path and journey went on, I, um, I got into graffiti in my junior high school years and on into high school. And <clears throat> alongside of that, there was uh, skateboarding and you know, just basically being an urban youth in Tucson, Arizona. One of the things that attracted me to, you know, graffiti and, and skateboarding and that whole culture were the people and the genuine passion for creativity, taking, you know, an activity and pushing it, you know, to not only your limits, but also expanding on that particular discipline. And I, I felt like there were a lot of parallels between graffiti and skateboarding because it was something that as a youth we discovered and you know that we shared and it wasn't something that everybody and and the, the i guess the mainstream especially adults had uh, any control over it was something that we controlled it was something that we could express and we didn't have any limits on that's kind of molded my um, approach to creativity, um, making sure that, you know, you, you have these original elements and making sure that your approach to things is not only putting out good work, but putting out original work that's expressive of your own journey. Another thing that I, you know, kind of got into and helped mold me was, you know, getting into hip hop. And um, I was, you know, in a band for a while and I did, you know, some rapping and things like that. And what it gave me an opportunity to do was learn, you know, some elements of music and really draw a parallel between music, um, visual art, and basically an approach to, you know, my creative process, um, making sure that you know, we have those elements of, you know, individuality, um, making sure that you have some conscious elements as far as what's going on in society and also creating some contrast to feel like, you know, within music, within visual arts, within anything creative, you're always looking for some sort of a contrast. And that's what I think really drew me towards those three disciplines. The way I approach things is that I'm always a student. I'm always learning. Um, and I always feel like that is key to sharpening and honing your creative skills and, and your craft. So you're ultimately creating your best work. You're always expressing yourself um, based on your experiences. So, you know, for example, uh, growing up in Tucson, you know, you're, I was exposed to a lot of different elements, different cultures. I grew up in a Mexican neighborhood. Uh, I myself am African-American. So that really formed, you know, formed my approach to things as far as taking the best things from all of those cultures and um, putting them into my work. So what it allowed me to do is experience things like hip hop, jazz, rock music, also um, a lot of uh, Latin music, uh, cumbia and um, mariachi music and, and um, boleros, everything else. The, what that exposure did was gave me a chance to open my mind and to new experiences and not pigeonhole myself. And so when it comes to my craft and, you know, what I'm creating, there's always a, all those elements sprinkled in. So what I'm currently working on right now is a couple of different stories. Um, one story I came up with my son, we're on a trip back from Sedona, going out to Tucson. We are going back and forth, uh, trading uh, different um, pieces of this story. And uh, we, by the time we got home, we had this whole storyline put together, this whole plot and everything. And so what I did was kind of uh, documented it and, and put it all together. And now I'm fleshing it out to make some sort of maybe an interactive book, a um, combination of some animation and things like that, coming up with some concepts for characters, things of that nature. And the second one is um, an animation that I'd like to do uh, that would incorporate some music. Uh, had a band in Tucson, uh, we were called the Bandai, and I had a character that we would use as our mascot, but 
in the inserts of our CD covers, I made a little comic book and I kind of want to flesh that out and maybe make a little animated feature and some, and add a little storyline to that. So I've been really fortunate. I've um, come out to California from Tucson, Arizona. And what that's also given me the opportunity to do was meet two individuals, uh, David Zamudio and Hebrew Palau. Uh, is that how you say your name? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he started up this really great get together called the 101. And again, I feel very fortunate that I've been able to work with these two and get exposed to their work as well as network and meet other creatives like myself so that I'm not in my little dungeon trying to come up with all of my, you know, weird little uh, expressions. So yeah, shout out to David, shout out to Heber, shout out to the 101.